Welcome to Traveling Bits. We are at Burwa Bhavan in Uzan Bazar, Guwahati. This house was built by Barinchi Kumar Burwa, who was a great Assamese writer, folklorist, educationist, and he was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award posthumously in 1965. He was one of the founders of Guwahati University. This heritage building has now been turned into a guest house which is run by his son and who also lives there along with his family in one of the portion. The house has ample greenery and is beautifully maintained in terms of aesthetics and giving a old world charm. Here in this cozy garden one can sit and have a great time. Barua Bhavan is now owned and run by Barinche Kumar Barua's elder son, Raj Barua. You can meet Mr. Raj Barua at his office here. It's a heritage building and I'm going to take you for a tour. This is the entrance and as you can see they have reviews uh, posted on the wall uh, which shows TripAdvisor and this shows free Wi-Fi and let's now climb the stairs to the first floor This is a heritage building and uh, Mr. Barua was one of the famous writers who built the cement building originally. The website of Barua Bhavan says there was a wooden building which was more than 100 years old. His wife, Shanti Chaya Barua, receiving the Sahitya Academy Award from the President of India in the year 1965. Barin Kumar Barua Let's go inside the room and explore it.
This is one of the super deluxe suit which is available at Barua Bhavan. This is made in Bengali Zamindari style and it cost around 3500 rupees. For extra mattress rupees 950 rupees would be charged. Check in and check out is from 12 noon to 12 noon. A couple of hours here there may be accepted at request. The room has large attached bathroom, dressing table and wardrobe. This is a deluxe room which cost Rs. 2500 per night. We booked the rooms from MakeMyTrip.com which gave some discount. I would always suggest to book your rooms from online uh, reservation systems wherein you can get you know, some discounts. It's an old bungalow which has been converted into a guest house and as you can see you know things have been kept in a very aesthetic way, uh, has a charm of old world. This uh, cabinet, if you can see the drawers and the, the embroidery which has been done on that, is very gives a very old world view. It is an AC room. Uh, some uh, Buddhist thanka, thanka you can see there is a Japanese fan, there is a TV uh, along with cable connection. So it's pretty nice. Yes, you, if you see here, there is a sitting arrangement given here, and uh, there is tea, hot water, and other uh, ingredients for making tea is kept in the room. You can make it. Now let's go and see the bathroom. So I'm just opening the bathroom door and uh, you can see this is a cozy bathroom and uh, there is a bathtub the bathtub is considerably small you probably will not be sleep you can just sit here but uh, looks pretty well they keep a uh, towel and this is considerably good <laughs> a corridor this doors have a english feeling this is the reception area and very aesthetically done is the lounge and the dining area. Going to the terrace. We have a beautiful terrace. Lot of flowers. One can spend amazing time chatting or just having or drinking something.
this is the night view of Burwavan from the road and let's take a stroll on the ground floor and see how it looks at night. Burwa Bhavan is ideally located near Fancy Bazaar and other markets. It is also located nearby tourist locations and river Brahmaputra. We really enjoyed our stay at Burwa Bhavan and I recommend this place. If you like the video, please click on like and share. Also subscribe to the channel for future updates.